it started like any other council meeting. Proposal after proposal, but one of them will determine the future of professional soccer in Indy. Proposal 175, a plan for a professional sports development area. The tax district would help fund a downtown soccer stadium and help a mystery ownership group woo an MLS team. But first, the mayor needs the support of the consul to pull it off. President Bob Osley agreeing to put his name on the proposal last Friday. But when asked about a vote, what would be your vote right now on it? Um, I haven't heard from the public. Councilor Kristen Jones represents District 18, the home of both soccer stadium proposals. However, she refused to support the plan, and she's not alone. Soccer fans and even billion-dollar investors are still asking, what about 11 Park? The mayor cut ties with the project back in March, while Keystone Group says it's still pursuing the project. The problem is city government can only pick one tax district to send to the state. MLS or 11 Park. Council Minority Leader Brian Mowry says his caucus has been left in the dark. This is something that I think that transparency is of the utmost importance and what we've seen so far is that hasn't been happening even to the council. The other catch, the committee that originally heard the 11 Park proposal won't hear this plan. Instead, the Rules and Public Policy Committee, which Osley chairs, will vote on the tax district. In a statement, 11 Park developer called the move unprecedented, saying it is bending council rules. However, Osley says the move is because of a state policy. We need a 10-day notice for public hearing, and so the next available one was, uh, was rules. Again, this is not a done deal yet. That committee hearing is set for May 28th. If the proposal is approved, it will head back to the full council for a vote. At the City County Building, Lauren Caustic, 13 News.